Hi everybody, it is me, Corey Summers, your local Los Angeles luxury realtor. Today we are going to be discussing the area of Sherman Oaks, which is a part of the city of Los Angeles. If you have not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I just wanna ask you to take a quick moment to click that subscribe button below, as well as the bell for updates. And we'll be right back and get into all the nitty gritty about Sherman Oaks. Hey everybody, it is me, Corey Summers, your local Los Angeles luxury realtor. Today we're gonna to be discussing Sherman Oaks. Now, Sherman Oaks is a part of the city of Los Angeles and it is actually located in the San Fernando Valley. Sherman Oaks was originally established in 1927. There was a large portion of um, land that was owned by General Moses Hazeltine Sherman, who was a, a partner in the Los Angeles Suburban Company. The company divided a thousand acres of land, which later became Sherman Oaks. Now, a great portion of Sherman Oaks is actually in the Santa Monica Mountains and south of Ventura Boulevard. There is also a portion of Sherman Oaks that's in the flat areas um, north of Ventura Boulevard. Ventura Boulevard definitely crosses through Sherman Oaks. Sherman Oaks covers approximately 9.15 square miles and it's basically where the 405 freeway and the 101 freeway meet. Now Sherman Oaks is uh, very much like its neighbor Encino in terms of it's a quiet LA suburb that allows for like city convenience with all the shopping, but yet still retains that like small town peacefulness. There's a lot of high-end malls, um, hip boutiques and restaurants, especially on Ventura, that really dot the landscape of Sherman Oaks. Being that Sherman Oaks is right where the 405 freeway and the 101 freeway meet, it has easy accessibility to the west side, or if you're needing to do a weekend getaway, you can just drive on up to Ojai or Santa Barbara for a nice little excursion. Now, Sherman Oaks has a large collection of mid-century modern homes. They were predominantly built in the 40s to the end of the 60s. Most of these homes are in the Santa Monica Mountains, uh, south of the boulevard on streets like Scadlock and many more and um, some of you already know this but I'm a huge mid-century modern fan and so some of the homes were designed by architects like um, Richard Dorman, Richard Nutra, William Kessler, Edward Fickett, Rudolf uh, Schindler and John Elder. A lot of the homes have been updated over time and are absolutely stunning. Some of them haven't, they're, they're due for an update but a lot because they're in, in the hills, a lot of them have some amazing views of the valley and it's just phenomenal and breathtaking to see. In 1991, a group of homeowners that were living in the Chandler Estates petitioned for Chandler Estates to become a part of Sherman Oaks. Now, if you're familiar with Chandler Estates, this is a nice section of Sherman Oaks. It was originally part of Van Nuys. Uh, larger lots, larger homes, some are almost estates. And it wasn't until 2009 that it officially became a part of Sherman Oaks. Like many other areas in the valley that are right along Ventura Boulevard within close proximity to cutting through the hill to get to various parts of the west side, Sherman Oaks has been home to a number of celebrities, much like its neighbor Studio City, as well as Toluca Lake. And some of the more famous residents over the years have been Melissa Joan Hart, Shyla LaBeouf, Char Charles Sheen, um, Demi Lovato, Andrew Dice Clay, Paula Abdul, and many more. Prices of homes in Sherman Oaks do vary. The homes that are in the flats tend to be a little uh, less pricey than the homes in the Santa Monica Mountains, um, especially if they're due for an update or, or grand renovation. So I'm going to give you an example of three homes currently on the market today at the time of shooting this video. So the first home is an, selling for $780,000. That's at 5442 Woodman Ave. It's a two bedroom, one bath, 1133 square feet. It was renovated and interestingly enough, it's in the Chandler States. It is a small home which has a lot to do with the price. The second property is asking $2 million and this is 14717 McCormick Street. It's a six bedroom home, five bathrooms, uh, almost 4,200 square feet, and it's a new construction modern home. Sherman Oaks has been having a, um, quite a bit of new construction modern homes lately. 
Uh, new construction modern homes have been very very popular on the west side the valley has really had more of the farm homes and, and more seeing those sell quickly but as more people are moving over to the valley from the west side the demand for modern homes has been going up a bit now the last home that i want to share with you is uh, selling for eight million four hundred and ninety thousand dollars it's at 3960 almore drive it's a six bedroom seven bathroom home nine 9,140 square feet. It's on 2.3 acres and it's part of the Long Ridge Estates. So there's a couple pictures there. Gorgeous home, lots of wonderful properties. And honestly, a lot of the new construction happening, especially south of the boulevard, has just been absolutely stunning the last two years. So if you're thinking about making Sherman Oaks your home, you're in great company. There's lots to do here, Ventura Boulevard, again, as many other parts of the valley that uh, are built around Ventura Boulevard. There's lots of eateries, um, sit down restaurants. There's a bowling alley over in Studio City, which is pretty close to the border, Studio City, Sherman Oaks. There's hair salons, doggy daycares, just about everything you could want is right there. Sherman Oaks also has um, a couple malls, um, including the West Westfield Plaza, or sorry, Westfield Mall, which has um, Macy's and a lot of great shops, a food court, Seas Candy, etc. And then the Sherman Oaks Galleria, which is more of a outdoor kind of um, center. There's a cheesecake factory over there. There's a movie theater over there. There's lots to do and lots of shops. If you're trying to figure out where in Los Angeles you might wanna to move to because you're thinking of relocating to Los Angeles, I have a relocation guide below as well as a guide on Sherman Oaks. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video today. If you haven't subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, please take a moment to do so at this time, as well as click the bell for updates. If you have any questions about Sherman Oaks or other parts of the city of Los Angeles, you can always reach out to me. My contact information is below as well. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.